I'd like to quickly go over some of the basics of complex numbers for anyone who's unfamiliar with them or needs a refresher. I, the square root of minus 1, was invented, some might say discovered, in the 16th century in order to solve equations such as x squared equals minus 1. Once we acknowledge the existence of I, it becomes possible to solve any polynomial equation. If we have a complex number, z, we can write it as a plus ib, and we say it belongs to the field of complex numbers, where a and b are real numbers. And apologies to my American friends and others who pronounce z as z. The real part of z is a, and the imaginary part is b. We can define the complex conjugate of z, z star, to be a minus ib. The complex number z can be depicted as the point in the complex plane with x-coordinate a and y-coordinate b. A representation of a point in the complex plane like this is also known as an Argand diagram. The norm of z is defined as the square root of a squared plus b squared. So the norm squared is a squared plus b squared, which is equal to z times z star. One other identity is very useful. Suppose we have in the complex plane an angle theta, and we want to know what is the complex number z at unit radius and angle theta. The real part is cosine theta, and the imaginary part is sine theta. So z equals cos theta plus i sine theta. This, it turns out, is equal to e to the i theta, which is a very famous result. From it follows the remarkable fact that e to the i pi is equal to minus 1. It's not hard to prove this, but we'll leave it for another day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.